Hey YouTube, this is Sugar PYT, also known as Have a Kiki with Nikki. And I just wanted to come to you guys this Monday evening and just to check in and say hello and see how everyone is doing. Let you guys see my face or whatever. I just did an upload, but it was quite messy or whatever. So I wanted to do another upload and totally change topics, okay? So this um, video is going to be about relationships, okay? Um, my most recent relationship that I had, uh, my most re recent relationship endeavor. Okay, that's what I call it, a relationship endeavor. So to make a long story short, you guys know I was like in the midst of dating a pastor and everything. And I want to let you guys once again know this, it did not work out. And I wanted to tell you guys why it didn't work out because I never got this the chance to elaborate on this, the situation. I didn't elaborate on the situation because I wanted to make sure that, you know, all the smoke had blew over before I started to speak on it. And I just wanted to make sure I was in, get in, good, in a good space and I wanted to make sure that that he was in a good space as well okay so let me just got just tell you guys why the reason why the relationship did not work out is because one evening i decided to invite my mom and her wife to church when my mother and her wife came to the church service um there was a young lady there and she had like a couple of children with her um, this young lady, to make a long story short, you guys, just to get right to the point, the young lady that I'm referring to, it turns out that she has a baby. I'm going to call her Lady X. Lady X has a baby with my mother's wife's nephew. Okay. Now she had been coming to the church services ever since we had started up on all the Friday nights. This young lady had been coming to the church services, but I had no idea that she was talking to my pastor at the same time that I was talking to my alleged supposed pastor okay she was talking to him at the same time and the only reason that i found out that she was talking to him at the same time of course is because my mom's wife came to church everybody said their hellos and then the next day um my mom told me because her wife told her and then my mom told me what was going on so uh, I didn't address him about the situation right away because it was during the holiday holidays during Christmas and there was just so much going on so much you know services to go to musicals out eating shopping hanging out with family so I actually did not have a chance to really address him about the situation right away now by the time you know a week or so later after me finding out by the time I did um address him about everything that i had found out he basically totally brushed me off and didn't want to discuss it um he basically was saying that that was his friend he stopped texting me stopped calling me and i did the same thing i didn't text him i didn't call him at all so then you know a couple of weeks passed by you know what i'm saying with us not talking everything and then he sends me an um an email out of the blue or whatever telling me that he wants to go out you know what i'm saying to go have pizza he wants to go you know link up so we can talk about the situation um at that time when he sent me the text i told him well you know there's really nothing to discuss because of course i'm going to believe what my mother and my mother's wife says what what they say over anything that he has to say anyway because i know that they, they down for me they're not gonna lie to me about the situation and i know that girl you know what i'm saying lady x or whatever i know for sure that they had something going on because after she seen my mother and her wife you know what i'm saying at church she didn't come back to any other services okay she did not come back so she probably felt some type of way as well okay so i ended up confronting him about the situation let him know okay so you were telling this young lady you were going to marry her she's going to be the first lady of her your church you're going to buy her a house basically he's telling her the same garbage that he's telling me okay but the twist is he wanted me to do secretarial duties for him okay um as far as him st starting up the church as far as i could see she didn't have that responsibility because she wasn't going with him to any of the meetings any of the funerals any of that i was doing all that stuff so it just basically all came to fruition. So basically, guys, he tried to ignore me about it. So since he tried to ignore me, it was one evening um, where he had put on a Christmas Christmas musical. And so I went to the Christmas musical as well because I had invited people from my job to this musical. So I could not, you know, just not go because me and him were in a beef or whatever about some young lady. I had to show my face there because I hadn't personally invited people there. So I went to the musical or whatever. And um, when I was at the musical, you know what I'm saying? He was, you know, he, he put the show on. So he was all immersed into that. While all of that was happening, 
I end up meeting the keyboard player. Now, the keyboard player is a young guy, really, really cute or whatever. Um, we're the same height. We have the same birthday. You know what I'm saying? He, he's very smart, very talented, plays the keyboard, has a job, is a student, everything. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to make his life better. Um, he ended up asking me out on a date. So I ended up going out on a couple of dates with him. No hanky panky, of course, but I ended up going out on a couple of dates with this gentleman and I had like such a great time. And this was all like during the holidays. So now let me just say this. Now, while homeboy is over here trying to shit on me and play me to the left or whatever, and then, you know, I confront him about it or whatever. And he thinks that I'm going to get all in my feet these about it, which I did not. I'm over here or whatever with the keyboard player. We're linking up. We're going out. We're having a great time. So it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? He was like put there to kind of like, um, to sort of like foil the, the blow, so to speak, because he really made me feel a whole lot better about the situation. And I'm just actually really happy that I met the person. So out of all of this, I ended up meeting somebody new that I could actually be friends with. You know what I'm saying? So make a long story short, guys, I end up speaking to the minister and we speak about the young lady. And of course he denies her and says, oh, he wasn't talking to her. That's just his friend. Boom, 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 bam, bam, bam. And I end up telling him, well, honey, you know what? It's not a big problem because while you were doing all that over there, I was doing all this over here. Do you guys know that he, this nigga got upset with me and went on like a two hour phone rant about how I shouldn't be dating people that he works with or how I shouldn't be dating people that he knows. And he tried to convince me he's going to tell me oh well i said well i don't understand what the big deal is we went on a couple dates we didn't mess around he's a really great guy he treated me like a gentleman this is what i'm telling the pastor the pastor tells me that i got played i'm trying to figure out how in the hell did i get played i'm getting chauffeured around honey he's taking me out you know what i'm saying we're having a great time we're keeping each other company how just how in the hell did i get played with the situation no you thought you was gonna play me but you did not okay those roles were quickly reversed all right so i just wanted to come to you guys and let you know that the pastor was definitely being a messy ass bitch or whatever trying to talk to uh, a couple of different women in the congregation including thine self okay and about how i brought my mom's wife to church brought my mother to church and they basically foiled his plan okay um and it didn't go down. And in the midst of that, I ended up meeting somebody new that I could get along with. Someone that was able to take me out and treat me like a lady, honey. Just like I like it, okay? So, I wanted to just give you guys a background on that. When when the pastor found out that I had went out on a couple dates with a keyboard player, honey, he was clearly upset. All right? Um, now, in the past video, I had said the words drummer. And that's just because... I, I got the instruments mixed up, really, to be honest. I don't really give a damn what instrument he plays or whatever. As long as he's able to treat me well, that's all I really cared about, okay? I just wanted to go out and hang fun. I wasn't really in it to win it, all right? And just, you know what I'm saying? I wanted... The, the pick myself back up from that blow that I had taken as far as this man trying to talk to some other lady telling this lady he's going that she's going to be the first lady and all this stuff I had to try to find a way to pick myself up out of that and I ended up meeting somebody right away to help me out with that okay because what's the best way to forget about one person okay get another person okay <laughs> So I just wanted to tell you guys about that. I thought, you know, it would be a good key key for you guys. I want to let you guys know just because somebody says that they're a pastor, you have a lot of men out here perpetrating and they're using the Lord to do it. And it's a sad shame. I really, really hate that that's happening. But people, you know what I'm saying, are saying and doing whatever they have to do to get a coin out here you know what i'm saying not just on the youtube streets in real life too so and i know you guys have read you know stories about pastors and all that stuff and unfortunately you know I really don't want to because he's a young man, but it's like right now how I'm kind of feeling I have to like lump him in the category with all of those other guys, I guess, until he does better. Now, me and the pastor are still friends. I decided um, not to let this whole debacle, um, I, I didn't want to throw away the throw away the friendship just because we're not going to make it as far as being in a relationship i didn't see any need to throw him away so we're still cool i actually spoke to him on the phone this morning honey i told him that i was about to be going to vegas and don't you know he tried to invite himself on this trip on this trip that i'm going on to vegas but no 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 you shall not be going with me 
anywhere. Definitely not to the damn West Coast, okay? He done trying to trick off on me. Uh-uh. It ain't going for that. And we not even cool like that no more. But he did let me know that he still, you know, he wants me to do his secretarial stuff or whatever. He wants to put my name on paperwork. No, 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 no. All of your privileges are gone okay they are lost and guys i actually told him i was very honest and i told him that he was sort of like used as commentary on my channel okay get into that <laughs> he did he actually did not have a problem with it i actually you know he's he's a very interesting character i actually was trying to talk him up into starting his own channel so just know that, that guys we are still friends um hey i stumbled or uh, whatever but my knees ain't scraped okay i'm still here i'm still in it to win it so i will be back at you guys later i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a key key about the pastor situation let him let you guys know what he was up to okay but i will be back okay and i'll see you guys later on you guys have a blessed evening all right